All right, guys. So I thought I'd give you an update on my SCX-10 free build um, as to where I'm going with that without trying to give too much away. Um, here you can see an axle all on my um, helping hands. Now this is ready to be primed. And uh, yeah, a lot of you are thinking now why are you painting the axles? They're all they're going to get scuffed. Wrong. I have portals. So I walk over everything and I never get scuffed no more. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Um, I asked the wife, going through some ideas on do I paint this, do I paint that? And she said, uh, what would you normally do? And I said, well, I'll leave it and paint the body. She said, well, do the opposite of what you would normally do. And that don't mean leave the body clear. But um, So I'm doing a full chassis overhaul and everything. Um, there are some bits which I've already pre-primed, such as my uh, pumpkin covers. I uh, give them a right good scuff down. Same with this. It's been soaked in a nice lukewarm soapy water. And then I have scuffed the hell out of it with a Scotch Brillo pad. And you'd be surprised at how much plastic residue and stuff like that you do end up in the bottom of uh, the tub from giving it a washing. It's quite a lot came off. Um, so I've let them dry overnight. Now, for masking these, basically, all I've done is, for this axle, I'm going to use the same method, basically, as I'm going to show you here. Now, because I am um, updating these with um, from the plastic ones, um, I'm now using the plastic one as a um, more for masking and basically all I've done is put a children's rubber loom band thingy around just to give me a slight gap so it doesn't stick to it when painting and peel any paint off later and um, it also stops any paint getting from within there and then for this all I've done basically is stood it on the masking tape and scored around it and it's given me a nice neat edge around there. And to mask up where the bearings go, because the majority of them are the same, such as these and the bearings for your prop shaft. Um, if you take a triple A battery and some masking tape and just wrap that around a few times and then that nicely just sits in there and it also gives you somewhere to hold it while spraying um, the diff covers have been done I've etched primed them for brass um, otherwise it will just start flaking off straight away uh, yeah it is all going to get scuffed later down the line but to me that's all going to add to the character it's basically going to be a shelf queen but I don't build shelf queens I do use them regardless of what they like. It could be the most prettiest thing in the world and I will use it. So yeah, I'm doing the opposite of what I normally would do with this. So this is going to be a long process. All these need soaking and everything and good scuffing down and etching. Um, same with the chassis rails and bits. Um, and then I have to go out and I'm going to find myself a colour match of this my friend told me it's a candy apple red on um, a lot of the parts which are already early to upgrade it with because I am going to do stuff like the diff covers in the candy apple red just to break it up um, but yeah I've got a little theme in my head that I'm going to go with and a little air duster here just before we paint give that a dusting off um, and I think that's about it really for this. So I won't call this a video, but I'll um, update you as I've progressed a little bit more from this, i.e. the priming and stuff like that. So, so far, the um, weight difference just between the diff covers, so you're there at four, just over four and a half gram. That's one diff cover. So we'll work that out and that'll be times two. And that's weighing in at 40 grams. 
So that is a dramatic weight difference just down low, right in the centre where you want it. And that's before we start. Um, the aluminium. Those, I weighed those and they are exactly twice the weight of the plastic. So I will do like a wheel and tyre, complete comparison of the wheels and tyres and see what we're saving there. Or gaining, should I say. And um, also, I do have front alloy portals coming for the front. So, a bit a little extra weight in the corner. I don't want to go like an overhaul it with brass straight off. I just want to add a little bit to compensate for the added weight I'm putting up the body. And some, just that little extra. And uh, then I can plan it from there on the... Um, future trails in various locations and work out what's more suitable for my needs so while I'm just doing like little weight for weight comparisons um, that's the stock SCX 10 skid plate and that's it just over 20 gram with the alloy upgrade bear in mind this is central to the vehicle so we gain just over 15 grams there. Plus that, which I weighed earlier. Um, I can't remember exactly what that coming at. Well, I just want to bring the port, um, the weight more down. I'm more bothered with this because of the portals actually raising the vehicle. So it actually raises the um, weight with it. And they come in at just under eight grams. And the alloy ones just over 15. So we get near enough an 8 gram difference there also. So I'm just going to take these alley skid plates and like diff guards and stuff. And um, I'm just going to soak this in this nice warm soapy water. Give them a good 10 minutes to soak. It just helps break all that like factory grease off from the milling machines and everything else. And then using the scuffy side of that, give them a damn good scrub. So, thanks for watching. And uh, it's not goodbye yet. And if you want to stay tuned with this build and watch the progress as I get through it, uh, do feel free to like, subscribe if you're not already, and hit that notification bell to stay um, alert of any future videos. So, ciao for now, guys.